Hey folks, what's happening? So um, this one is about something uh, freaky. If you want to use your main stage um, program and route that into Jamalos, uh you need a special component. And this is called uh, the black hole driver. So if you search on the internet for black hole, download Mac, you will immediately be routed in onto the GitHub page for this black hole driver. It's for free. You can download the installer, install it. And what you get with it is uh, something very, very nice. Um, if you open your audio devices, uh, which is, you know, usually this thing, so I have it in my in my bar down here, okay, um, you can uh, use this black hole driver together with your sound card and your, your keyboards in a so-called aggregate device. Um, so how do you get it? You press the plus button down here, which is easily overseen, and you create an aggregate device, okay? You can give it a name, my aggregate device, for example, and then you tick the boxes in the right order, okay, of the uh, interfaces that you, of the devices that you want to use, and then also press the drift connect correction. I've done this before, so this is my aggregate device, okay? It's called my aggregate device. I've used my sound card, my Kronos, my core Kronos keyboard, which is connected over USB, okay, which has two channels, and the black hole driver. Here we are. So now you can switch here between the different views, okay? I prefer this one because it tells you, okay, these are all the input channels, these are all the output channels, and you can also give labels to the channels. So you can see if you hover your mouse here, you can actually give a, um, a, a label. So you could actually give this one labels like um, Scarlet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And um, so I've given labels for the black hole driver. Um, and uh, it also gives a color, so Scarlet is blue, Kronos is red, and the black hole driver is green in this example. What is very uh, important is to set the drift correction option, because otherwise it, it will not work, it will mess up. Okay, you also have to set the 48 kilohertz and set your clock source to your sound card. So here we are. If we've done that, we can now configure um, main stage and channelers in a way that, that it uses this uh, aggregate device. So you go main stage, preferences, audio, and you set both to my aggregate device. All right? Set the sample rate to 48, off you go. Now what you need to do, everything that you want to route into the black hole driver, you need to change the output setting here. So uh, go for output 7 and 8 in my case. It might be different in your case. If you look it up in your audio MIDI setup, you can see it here. The output channels, these are the ones that you want to use. And you can see black hole 1, black hole 2 is on 7 and 8. So I have to root everything that I want to hear in channels or that I want others to hear uh, onto those two channels. So it's like a black hole. Put everything in there, right? Also, my microphone goes there. So uh, I've, I've, I've used the trick uh, in main stage. If you go up to the concert level and you add a channel here, an audio channel, and I've called it micro, um, then... Uh, you can route this also to, to output 7 and 8. The, the nice thing is, no matter where you are in your concert, if you, if you change your, your settings, right, the microphone channel always goes the same way. So you don't have to do it in every patch. You just do it once, okay? And once you've done it once, it's basically there in every patch, which is great. So no work to do for your microphone stuff. You want the microphone because then others can hear you talking, right? If you are connected over the internet with others in Jamalus, you need to uh, also have the microphone connected. Okay, so I've hooked up my microphone to, to channel one, um, which is basically uh, the first uh, Scarlet input, okay? So um, that's all you basically have to do to route your stuff from main stage into um, Jamalus. Now, in Jamalus, you also have to configure the settings to receive the stuff. So, press the settings button, open the device list, which is quite long in my case. You have to find in my aggregate device and out my aggregate device. Please choose that one, or however you call it your aggregate device, right? Then, now the most complex thing is to 
get the right channel be selected. So I have given labels, you can see it here, so I can easily choose black hole 1, black hole 2. These are those input channels you can see here. Input channels, let's open it up a bit. Black hole 1, black hole 2, which is channel 9 and 10. The output channel needs to go to my Scarlet because I want to hear what I'm playing and what the others are playing. So I use channel 1 and 2 of my sound card and you can see it here. I use 1 and 2 of my aggregate device. All the other settings are part of another video, so uh, just for quick reference, use small network buffers, use the smallest audio delay you can ever get, uh, use high audio quality and put a stereo signal out because you want to have all these nice effects on your sounds being rooted in stereo to the other guys so that can they can hear you. Right? So all the other parts on Chamulus uh, I will explain in, in another video. Okay, so now you should be ready to go connect to a server. So in my case, I fire it up a local server that's not in the official server list. Okay, so uh, it's on my local host on the usual port. And if I connect it, um, it should do it. It should do it. However, this is a video, so off you go. Oh, I've, I've closed the server. There we are. Here's the server. Connect it again. Woohoo! Here we are. So, uh, you can also select now um, an official server and play with others once you've con configured all this stuff. Okay, you just do it once. If you shut down your Mac, if you boot it up again, everything will be there. So, uh, don't worry, right? You don't only have to do this kind of thing once. And if you don't change anything, it will work forever. I've used it through the whole Corona year. It was great fun to play with others. And um, yeah, uh, I hope you have the same fun like, like I had. Okay, so um, check out my other videos on, on, on jamming on, uh, online with other uh, musicians. Uh, it's great fun and it, it's a bit addictive, I have to say. See you.